Hi guys and welcome to another Surface RT video and in this video I'm going to test how long it takes to receive an email. I have three devices here. I have my Samsung Galaxy S2, my Nexus 7, both Android uh, operated uh, devices and my Surface RT. And what I'm going to do is send an email to my Gmail account and see how quickly each, each um, tablet takes to receive the email. Uh, so I have a stopwatch ready to run on the phone as soon as I press the send button and uh, we'll see how long it takes for each device to pick up the email. Now just to show you quickly what I'm going to be sending, it's a simple email saying this is a test email to see how quickly the email is received. So nothing too flash or technical about that, I just needed to have an email with some content so it's not picked up uh, by the spam filter. So if you just bear with me while I set up my um, devices because this is all going to be down to timing and if I get this wrong I'm going to have to do the whole video again. So I'm going to put the mouse on the send button on the computer and then I'm going to press send and start the uh, stopwatch at exactly the same time. So here we go, three, two, one. So the email has been sent and the stopwatch has started. So we'll see how long each device takes to receive this email. And straight away we can see the Nexus 7 and the Galaxy S2 have both picked up the email. Uh, this must obviously be down to the fact that there is a dedicated Gmail application on Android devices and it's using push notification technology which means that it receives the email pretty much straight away. As for the Surface RT, well it's time to let you in on a little secret. The native email application does not do push notifications, it actually searches for emails and you can search and you can do the update um, to your preference. Unfortunately there is no uh, push notification preference, in other words immediate. It will at the most check for emails every 15 minutes. So I could be sat here for a very long time waiting for this email to arrive. So what I'm going to do is put on some Benny Hill music and wait for the email to arrive. So I'll see you all uh, whenever this email arrives. Well, I'm going to have to cut back into the video because I've been waiting so long for a notification to appear in the top right hand corner that the battery is now running out on my camera and I don't want this uh, video to just end with the uh, battery running out. Uh, just to point out that we're now 13, into, 13 minutes into this and I've had another couple of emails come in to my um, Gmail account as well as the one that I'm still waiting for which was sent by me. Uh, so. I'm going to have to just give up here and if we now go into the application we'll see what the current state of play is and as you can see there's, there's nothing here there is a testing email here but that's because I sent a test one previously just to make sure that everything was working um, and now as you can see it's just popped up with a couple more emails here to say that I have got some new emails so I had to go into the application in order for it to actually uh, do a refresh and find the new emails and just proof here that that's the testing email that I sent but it wasn't received after 30 minutes of waiting on the stopwatch and as you, see, as you can see uh, a couple more emails are coming after that so when it comes to uh, push notifications Certainly the native app is behind everything that we're now used to in the uh, mobile world in terms of getting push notifications so you get those emails instantly. Thanks for watching guys, hope you found that useful. I'm not going to say anything else other than for push notifications, the Surface RT uh, doesn't come up to scratch as proved in this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon and my battery is running out.